Every experienced software engineer will tell you writing tests is the essential part of the development process. But why? If you're confident enough of the code you wrote, you test it manually, it works, you have no risks to have bugs in production, right? Or not? Why ever bother yourself to write tests? A short disclaimer, sometimes it takes more time to actually write tests to the feature you impl implemented rather than the feature itself. In this video, I will try to explain why it is so important to have your project covered with tests as much as possible and give to you main testing strategies that we software engineers use on a daily basis. So let's go. Have you ever made a change in your project and unintentionally introduced some bugs to the existing features? I'm sure you will. At least in your pet project or school project, you were debugging all, of, all over and over again. If you had tests that couldn't have happened because the test would catch this bug, at least if your code base is really covered with tests. You use tests to make sure that uh, the code you wrote previously doesn't break with the new changes. And you can either prevent a bug in production or actually it might be useful uh, of the existing bug in production and will save you a lot of time in debugging. The, the real life example, um, one day we had a bug in production that I had to fix. And the first thing that I did, I wrote a test for it. So it was failing. Uh, the process repeated all over and over again. I understand what was the bug about. I fixed it. Now we won't ever have this bug anymore because it is covered and it has been tested. And I didn't bother myself, you know, um, checking it manually, going to the website, clicking on buttons, whatever. So sometimes, as I told you in disclaimer, writing tests will take time, but it saves time in the future for sure. Ideally, tests should explain what the code does and how to use it. What are expected and unexpected behaviors, which actually makes it easy to collaborate if there is a big team working on this project and whether it's a new person coming in, any level of the developer will understand what's going on. Uh, thanks to the tests you wrote. So any developer can add new features, being confident that it won't introduce any regression to the existing functionality, which leads to the third reason why writing tests, because your code base will be reliable, maintainable and scalable. Knowing that the code has been covered with tests reduces the chances of unexpected behavior. So it enhances the trust in software and it overall uh, improves the developing experience. So ideally the test should be served as a safety net, allowing engineers to make changes to refactor, um, without any fear of introducing breaking code in production. And apart from taking tests seriously, what do all best software engineers have in common? A deep understanding of key concepts behind their work. That's where Brilliant.org comes in, which is sponsoring this video. Brilliant.org is the best way to learn math and computer science interactively. Brilliant has thousands of lessons from math to computer science, data science, scientific thinking, and more. And even if you're new to programming, you can start building your algorithmic thinking by creating programs in a very interactive and fun way. Brilliant is also a great tool to keep your math and CS skills sharp. It allows you to explore advanced topics in more depth, which can broaden your knowledge and give you an advantage in your career. To try everything that Brilliant has to offer for a full 30 days free, go to brilliant.org slash coding girl or simply click to the link in the description. The first 200 of you will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. There are several testing strategies that software engineers employ to ensure the quality and maintainability of their projects. I want to mention a few ones that are broadly used that have always been used in the projects I worked for. First one is unit testing. This strategy involves testing individual components of units of code in isolation to verify that it works as intended. In other words, unit tests are designed to test individual functions and methods. The second is integration testing and focuses on uh, how two components interact with each other and that these 
the behavior is expected of between this interaction. The simple examples here could be a simple e-commerce application, which has three components, um, like the product list, the cart and the payment. And so how, like, you know, adding products to the cart interacts and like the payment process if it goes well how these three components interact with each other integration testing for this system will ensure that all of these three components work smoothly together at the highest level we have end-to-end -end testing which validates the entire flow of the application from start to finish simulating the real world scenarios it's like in actual user behaviors clicking on the buttons filling out the forms but it's all automated, it's the program that does it for you. And one very important thing to mention, there is also a concept which is called TDD, Test Driven Development, and it's an approach in software development which emphasizes writing tests before implementing the feature. So it follows a cyclical process of designing tests, implementing code, refactoring to ensure that the code meets desired functionality. The core idea is to write tests, ensure that they fail because you haven't implemented the functionality yet, implement the functionality, refactor, and see that the tests they pass so, so you reach the desired behavior. Conclusion. If you're still not convinced that writing tests for your project, it's not just a good practice, but it's the essential part of being a software engineer, let me give you an example. So, okay, you work on a project and you know the code and you know the way it works and you know where the issues and edge cases are. So basically from the point now, you don't need writing tests, but talk to your future self. In three months, six months, a year, Will you be able to remember all of the subtle specifics of the functionality you were working on? Personally, I even forget the road I code like two weeks ago. And what about your colleagues? For them, it will be even difficult to like ensure that they won't break the existing functionality with their features or if they refactor your code. Yeah, it's the things that I explained to you at the beginning of this video with regression. So I hope in this video I answered this question, why writing automated tests is so important and which strategies do we software engineers use to ensure the maintainability and scalability of the code with the test coverage. I hope I convinced you to, to always write tests to the new implemented features and a sort of advice if you're planning to go to any company and there is a there is a task like a sort of a program they give you to write always make tests for this program even though it's not explicitly written it is meant to be like that and i actually prepared a life coding example i just didn't include it in this video because i thought it would be too long in that case so make sure you subscribe to my channel and don't miss this video where i show you how i implement unit and end-to-end -end tests to the small project that i created for you as an example thank you very much for watching this video i hope it was valuable for you let me know what you think in the comment and see you in my next videos bisous bye